Hello, welcome to my podcast. I want to talk about a subject that's not so nice. It's this World War Three that's imminent, that could happen. And I think you're probably feeling like me with a bit out of control and it seems to be amping up. It doesn't mean it does happen, but the possibility of it happening is quite strong now. It seems to be that all the players are getting things in line and there could be a high possibility of this war there is, of course, already a war going on, but I'm talking about a bigger war. If you're worried about it, you'll have a lot of fear around it. I suggest you only look at the news as much as you can bear it and just find out what you need to, but don't get too enmeshed in it because it's going to bring you down. The way that you can help with the war is to just pray. If you have any belief in anything, it's a good time to pray to your God, to your universe, to your religion and send prayers and ask every day when you think about that the war be stopped or lessened or they find a peace. And pray for peace. That's a good thing to pray for, love and peace. And send the way you send healing, however that, that is, through your prayers or through your thoughts, light a candle, whatever works for you. If we all start doing this on the collective in the world, everywhere, even if the war is not part of our war, has nothing to do with us, the prayers do get there and the prayers can make a big difference to the energy of whether the war is long and or very big or can be halted. So I'm doing this podcast, I've done one on my other page, my spiritual page, you'll see at the top of the links, which is a more detailed way how to do it. However, just for today, I just wanted to mention that this is what you can do. So every time you see it or hear on the news, you just pray for a better outcome, pray for peace. Because we have more power than we realise. We just think we're little people living in our little houses in the suburbs and we have no power. In a sense, we don't. But the prayer has power. Prayer is very powerful and it's come through all the different cultures and all through the different generations and we can use that because prayer can help and alter things and I know a lot of you are listening might not go to church and might not say much about these things and talk about it however on a deep level you know if someone gets sick in your family you you go to pray that I hope they get better because even if you say it in that way it's kind of like a prayer, isn't it, when you say, oh, God, I hope they get better. That is a prayer. That is a statement you're making, which is kind of a prayer. And that's what I want you to do. Every time you see all the news, all the things, just hope it gets better. I hope it improves. I hope they find peace. I hope that less people die, whatever you want to say. And that will all change the energy of it. And the more and more people do it, I believe in the world, the more chance we have of coming to a more peaceful place. That's what I want to say. It's just a short video. Pray. Just pray. And then just pray some more. <laughs> and let's see if we can avert this war. Because it's going to be, feels like it's going to be a nasty one. And it's going to be long. However, we as people do have the power of our mind and our hearts. And that's what I want you to use your mind and your hearts to pray for peace for everyone and that love, not anger, and control win, that love wins. Hope you have a peaceful week and thanks for listening.